Howdy y'all, Joe Hills here, recording as I always do in Nashville, Tennessee, and today on the Hermitcraft server, I'm going to be attacking Biffa's Bowl Mausoleum Memorial thing by trying to add more beautiful carvings to the side of the building here. Now, I don't necessarily have an idea of exactly what I want to put all over every inch of this building yet, but I do know that I want to incorporate some of the cool things that Biffa's Bowl had. Like, for example, it had a pretty crazy decorative rainbow over top of it that some of his cool friends built. And so what I was kind of thinking about doing with that was to take a bunch of different colored dyes, and of course I need to have room for all of that in here, and we'll just have the other end of the rainbow back there. Uh, having some sort of stripe that went up diagonally, kind of like part of the arc of the rainbow. Something kind of like this, kind of just go in... Thank you. Thank you, Shears. Okay. There we go. So we just kind of get the, the curvature of the arc of the rainbow itself here. We can't show the whole rainbow, obviously, because that would be... Oh, wait, whoops. This should actually be a... Let's go ahead and just move all of this down so it's in the right place. And let's go ahead and grab these frames here. Wonderful. So now we just go ahead and put that there and there like so. Roy G. In America, we remember the rainbow from uh, Roy G. Biv. Red, orange, yellow, blue, indigo, violet. Of course, we are too lazy to include all seven colors. So I'm thinking that for the outside here, I should probably put some sky blue to indicate that this is the sky. And maybe I'll have some more sky blue over here. I was also thinking that I might replace this water with um, blue wool blocks. Like, is there a way to remove stuff from frames without popping the frames out? Like, if I reach for it with an open hand? No, there is not. So that's fine. I'll just pick up a bunch of water bu uh, buckets here and replace them with blue wool. Oh, that's not going to work because water buckets each take up a slot in the inventory that I don't have room for. Dang it. Okay. So we are going to quickly go, before all these despawn, we're going to run and put some of this stuff in our house. This storage space I'm trying to decommission, I've got it down to these two very nearly empty chests, and they're not quite empty yet. So let's just dump all these water buckets, run back, grab the others. Oh, you know what though? Before we do that, let's go ahead and have a quick nap. As you can see, my sleeping farm bedroom is also a mess which I really need to deal with. That is going to kind of get out of control. Actually, you know what? I'm going to say it. I'm going to come out and say it. This is out of control. This is unacceptable. I need to come in and have... If I'm going to have a personal farm place, um, which I feel like I kind of need when I'm doing stuff with like the sheep, because I've got so many sheep down there right now, I feel like I need to... Yeah, does this sell the idea of of the bowl maybe and like maybe let's see I've got eight left of these frames like maybe just having having the the ocean continue here with the bl dang it having the ocean continue with the blue and having the sky above with like a light blue might be good now is light blue clay a lighter blue than the light blue wool. That, my friends, might be the real question. Wait, what happens if I put carpet in frames? Does that look silly? I'm sure it does, but the question is, how silly does it look? Well, that's just that's just kind of weird. So yeah, I'm gonna say it's silly. Uh, we are gonna go ahead and put that back. That is that is kind of extra weird. And actually, I guess the quickest way down. Thanks to our magical feather fallen boots, if I don't stupidly overshoot the entrance, is going to be right here. I really am starting to dig this Minecraft, uh, not Minecraft, mine shaft feel. I ripped out the glass here and put in posts. Oh, I guess I could have actually jumped down the hill on that side because I also uh, I put in like a mine shaft post here. I might even go so far as to bust this out and add fence posts here as well, or something, I, I don't know, it's all a work in progress, I'm, you know, I'm like a tail chasing its dog, 
I'm technically attached, I suppose, but I don't know to what. It might be a dog. Who knows? So let's see. Whoops. Put that there and there. Remove that. Yeah, that kind of works. I kind of like that. Cool. So anyway, I've got my little... Oh, do I have a torch on the outside of there? That would look cool. This is just Joe generally touches up his house. Um, oh, you know what I just did is I was just lucky enough to see my first movie in a theater since the wee baby Corinne decided that she wanted to be a, a baby and not uh, wait to be born. And so <laughs> that was an awkward sentence. Uh, the first movie I've seen since baby Corinne was actually born, uh, I saw today, and it was Joss Whedon's masterfully produced Much Ado About Nothing. And if this movie is showing in your city, which it's showing in all major U.S. cities uh, as of pretty much yesterday, uh, which is Friday the 21st, go see this movie. It was worth every cent. Why didn't I take the ladder? Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm getting lost because I'm so excited about this movie. Uh, Nathan Fillion is Nathan Fillion is in the film. Nathan Fillion is in the film. That's a that's an interesting sentence. I need to do that as one of my warm up, uh, my vocal exercises before I make videos for you guys. Nathan Fillion is in the film. Um, he is hilarious as Dogberry, and uh, they've got a lot of other great folks that I've really enjoyed in uh, Joss Whedon's other works. Essentially, the film was produced as like a bunch of friends hanging out. Um, and making something cool. So let's see, we're gonna go ahead and... No. Nope. Nope. Uh, that is undesirable. What did I just pick up? Probably another frame. Thanks. So, like, right here, this is the sky, I guess? Yeah. So we're gonna have that kind of transition over to here. And then we'll go ahead and put these up here and have this be the sky above the water. Well, this is going to be an interesting thing to look at. I don't know how informative it will be, but it definitely gives the impression of the Carvins at Halicarnassus, which, that was that was one of my objectives. Uh, let's go, whoa, hey, I've got one more frame, apparently, that I had left on the ground. How careless of me. Now it's going to be back on the ground again soon. Okay, let's try this again. Here we go. Yay! And technically, I have the things with me and the wherewithal to make additional frames but I'm kind of tempted to spend more time on the stairs here. Oh look it's my sheep they're adorable. Hi sheep probably need to move them somewhere else. Uh, this is technically probably going to be a public sheep farm I just wanted to make sure that I was able to shear the stuff off them before other people got to it the first time so like if I just put uh, this, these blocks along the sides here like, that seems like it's too much of the one color. But maybe what I could do is offset that with some sort of, of topper. Like, for example, if I were to take, um, take these and put them facing outward here. Well, that's going to create Latin glitches, apparently. But does that look cool? That looks kind of cool. Because you got the... Okay, you know what? Let's try that. Let's uh, let's try going all out on that one. Whoops. And, of course, we need to make sure we have the axe in our hotbar anytime that we're actually... Or actually... Dang it. Going to be working with wood because, of course, Joe Hills is incapable of placing the right block in the right place at the right time. So, here we go. But, yeah. Uh, Nathan Fillion is hilarious and much ado about nothing. There is... The com... Uh, there's a lot of physical comedy to it that is very good. Uh, obviously, they also take advantage of Shakespeare's natural, uh, the, the comedic elements of his his writing. Uh, you know, they didn't remove any of the good stuff, because why would you? That's part of why you do Shakespeare, because of the good stuff. Um, the setting is this beautiful house that Joss Whedon's wife designed that they actually live in. They shot it at his house, and it is just like the perfect setting for this film. Um... Like, for example, uh, Benedict and Claudio actually um, ha have to stay in, like, the uh, the girls' room in, in the house. And it's like, 
you know, this this room full of stuffed animals and pink beds. I guess they're, I'm guessing they're pink. The movie's actually shot in black and white, which is pretty cool um, if you're into that sort of thing. Like, I wouldn't, I, like, I, I don't think that it affected how much I enjoyed the movie that it was in black and white. Like, because there's some movies where, like, you know, I'm just like, oh, man, The Matrix, that was so cool because of the, the bullet time. And, I mean, but, you know, there's other things that were cool about it, too. But, like, the black and white shooting, I think, it gave it a certain um, gravitas that all Shakespeare kind of... I don't, I don't know. It's hard to say. What I'm saying... Uh, what I'm trying to say is the black and white worked, but don't make a big deal out of it. And here I am making a big deal out of it because I can't explain why exactly I think it worked. But it, it did work. And uh, it's just kind of neat... Maybe I should shoot a Hermitcraft video. No, see, the thing about shooting Hermitcraft in black and white, although that would make... I would be able to upload and edit so much faster, actually. Yeah, would you guys rather that I uploaded more videos, but in black and white? Because I could totally... Um, that would totally change how I make videos. You would get so many extra videos, because I wouldn't have to send any of the color channel data. Why would I not use this stupid ladder? There's a ladder... For a reason. Um, wait, but I'm working on the stairs, so I might as well go around the building. I need to be less indecisive. I'm just running around here like a chicken with his decision-making cut off. And I've got to fix these... Uh, i got to build some sort of uh, supports underneath these. I, I like these stairs, but they, they're just not supported properly right now. So anyway, here we are back up here. We can just get out 64 of these wonderful stair-step things. Um... Let's see. Okay, so that will actually fit there. And then maybe... Uh, why would I keep taking the axe out of my hot bar? That's a foolish move. Okay. And then uh, maybe I'll even go so far as to kind of have have this lip here. Because that's kind of unsafe as it is. That, that does not look like a safe place to be. So we will go ahead and replace this with a birch. But yeah, the, go see Much Ado About Nothing. It is a hilarious film. I'm really glad I went. And uh, honestly, it's it's just fun. It's fun and well made. And I like things that are fun and well made. Maybe I should put this episode of Hermitcraft in black and white. Oh, and then you guys would get to this part of the video and you'd be like, oh, so that's why he put the video in black and white. And then, but wait, no, because then you wouldn't be able to see the wool on the sheep and the rainbow that I've... Yeah, never mind. This is not going to be... Whoa, that looks even cooler coming down, actually. Okay, well, what if I embrace this over here? There we go. And then... So I'm thinking I might even then extend this out here, like so. Just to kind of have some continuity between the roads. And... Let's see. Let's go ahead and put that like so. Great. And doing the same over here will, of course, be fairly straight. Oh, not straightforward, but straightforward enough. Should I consider putting a stair step here? Nah, it's fine. Oh, this is this is so cool. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So, I finally got this stupid stairwell that I hated. Oh, no, I didn't fix the bottom, which I also hated. I was worried about that. I was like, you know, I'm going to figure this out, and then I'm going to realize I didn't do it well. And I didn't do it well because it's not done. So, we had this kind of zippery look before. I like the depth in here. What if I get the stairs back out again and kind of do something where they're like... Uh, where they're facing... Axe, come on. I clearly need this. Okay. Something like that. No, that, that's way too cheesy. Let's see. Maybe I need to just add more posts. Like, I've got these two posts up there. So, if I just came down to here or so... How, how thick are these posts? I think they're too thick. So, if I go ahead and just have that be too thick there, and oh, that's going to go off the cliff. That's why I didn't do that, actually, it looks like. Hmm. Okay, well, there is also that. Um, 
I can go shore that up later from the other side. So then the next place that there's like naturally occurring bit here is two, well, wait, that's one block over from there and three blocks over from there. So let's make, the, let's split the difference and just have this kind of pillar thing. Boom, boom, boom. No, I'm out of these, these things that I need, the birch tree parts. Well, okay. So let's, we need a torch in here or, or a pumpkin. Dang it, not a pumpkin. It's going to have to be a torch. Okay, so, because pumpkins will not be planted like that. Great. So, let us go and hopefully recover such cool things that we might use to continue this construction. Let's see. If I just hop down in here. I really need to do something with this area underneath here as well. Haven't figured out what yet. Maybe I'll make it like a nethery... Um, no, that, that's overdone. Let's see, where are we going? We are going to the wood chest, where, of course, I've used all the logs. Boom, boom. Okay, well, in that case, let's see what we got. I don't think I've even got any of those trees left planted out there. And I don't think I have any planted up top. Oh, yeah, there we go, there's one. So... What we will do is we will just sprint up this masterfully concealed stairwell here that I invented. Then we will use that stairwell to cut across to here. And then over to here, where we are now blissfully atop this tree, which why is my axe not in my hotbar? Oh my goodness. You really think I would have learned by now to, you know, do that. Okay, great. So, axe, hotbar. Let's go. And that'll give me some additional logage that I can use on the upper part here. Yes, this, this mine shaft theme, definitely the best idea. Let's see, maybe I could put some fake caves in there or something too. Like, that might be funny. Okay, so, where are we going? If I come up this way, that's a dead end. I really need to have a better grasp of my actual construction site. Part of the problem is I'm so happy with how it looks in general that I'm not treating it like a construction site anymore. I'm just like, yeah, it's, it's done, but then it's not. Cool. So, yeah, look who didn't put his axe somewhere else. There we go. Cool. So we just pop these in here, 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 and here. And come over and do the same. Nearly perfect. Um, dang it. Okay, that's why we have these. Great. So if I pop back over here. Yeah, those pillars definitely kind of give it a, a certain sense of scale that I appreciate. Now, if I was to come and continue the... Okay, so we have uh, two pillar... or Yeah, two wide pillar, two wide gap. Two wide pillar, two wide gap. So if we continue up the hill here along that same pattern. Here is our two wide pillar, our two wide gap, and then we right here I think would hit where our two wide pillar would be. Although I'd be inclined to kind of cheat it forward a little bit or something, I don't know. Because I mean it kind of seems, it kind of feels natural that it doesn't have to be as supported after it hits that uh, earthworks here. Let's come down take a look at it. I mean, that just kind of feels... And we're doing a terrible job of actually looking at the thing. So there's your stairwell. Where you at, spider? Bane of Arthropods 4. Bring it on. Okay, so let's get out of this perilous mobscape and get ourselves safely back into the clutches of my beautiful home that we may be held close to it and feel loved and sheltered in its shadow. Yeah, okay, so so you can't even see the uh, carvings on there very well, unfortunately. 
Well, if I come over here to the or the uh, Jenny's Angels base, where generic bees angels will live, and climb up on their platform and look over, can I see it from there? And I really hope there's not a creeper up here, because I'm definitely out of this type of wood and don't have any glass with me. So, that would be a problem. Yay! Well, you can definitely tell that there's something on there. You can't really tell that it's a rainbow. Maybe with Optifine installed. I don't know. The game gets better every year. They'll be able to figure out what that is 18 months from now. So, okay, cool. Well, anyway, until next time, y'all, let's actually take a look at the stairs as well. Yeah, that, that's passable. Cool, cool, cool. And I really like how organic the road is. That looks really good from up here. But anyway, until next time, y'all, this is Joe Hills from Nashville, Tennessee. Keep adventuring. And go see much ado about nothing. And, I don't know, like and comment on the video, and party on, dudes, and be excellent to each other, and brush your hair, and uh, in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good night, good morning, good evening, I don't know. Um, did I say to treat each other the way you wish you would be treated? Because that, that would be a good one, or what, what are some other ones like? Oh yeah, don't wake the baby up. That See, I was thinking it would be funny if I ended this by yelling something real loud like Steve Holt or San Dimas High School Football Rules. But that would get me in big trouble with my wife. So, anyway, I guess I should say, simply, once again, keep adventure in. I just hit my head on the, on, on the part of the closet that holds the coats. After I say keep adventuring, I'm supposed to hit the stop recording button, and instead I just turned my head and whacked it into something. I hope you couldn't hear that.